Hello everyone, I'm Pepe Valley, welcoming you to a new episode of Super Mario 3D World! Last time, we completed everything in World Star. This time, we're climbing up on a rocket ship, after climbing up on a rocket ship, and we're getting to new space worlds! Would you look at this? New space worlds. So this is World Mushroom, it's a little bit weird that there was uh, World Star first and then World Mushroom, uh, but... We're gonna be coming through this uh, mystery house brawl. Let's start off by going. This is a brawl. Let's go with Luigi. And let's see. Um, I I have this. We're gonna have to be fighting enemies, so having a power up over here is gonna be super helpful. Can Jesus? Okay, lost it already. Doesn't matter. There's no hidden, however, so uh, we're gonna have to just jump on them. Oh, excuse me! Yeah, that was pretty bad. <laughs> Jesus, even with the highest jump, Luigi, you suck. There we go. <laughs> okay, we got that, we got that. We in, we good. Now, these two are a little bit annoying because you have to wait for them to actually fall down, and they can just jump up again if you don't hurry, so... Uh, don't do that, don't do that. Okay, we made it just in time. That was very nerve-wracking, to be 100% honest. If any of you can drop a flower, uh, boomerang flower for me, that would be the most amazing thing. Thank you. <laughs> Apparently not. Alright, it's okay, though. It's okay. We have four out of the ten. Of course, you have to have this guy over here. Oh, it's only one. Okay, good. Would have been a little bit, uh, a little bit of a stretch having two of them over here. Oh, drat. Great. There you go. Bye to all the Goomba totems. Okay, I'm a little bit nerve-wracked. I, I should not have started with this one thing. No, okay. Jerk. Oh, no, 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 I want to reach, I want to reach, thank goodness, I would not have made it any other way. Alright, alright, we're still doing good, Magikoopas. Magikoopas. They wait a long time after their blasts have been done. I don't know if that's RNG or not, but, uh, <laughs> you want to you wanna be able to get rid of them as soon as possible. And, no you don't, no you don't, and, uh, no you don't. Ground Pounds should finish those off really easily, really quickly. Alright, one last time. Oh, Drat. Freaking Hammer Bros. The, adv the advantage they have over their brothers, uh, like the Fire and Boomerang Brothers, is that they can actually hit you while you're jumping. Um, so that's why they put them at the very end. Those are some of the toughest enemies in the game, uh, are the Hammer Bros. All the way back from the original Super Mario Bros. <laughs> To be 100% honest, that has always been the case. Hammer Bros have always been annoying uh, to deal with. But there's your mystery house for World Mushroom. You can see this section of the map is amazingly huge. So, night falls on ready rolling hills. We're gonna be going through with Toad, I think? Not entirely sure. I think this one has a specific stamp, but um... This is reminiscent of the level remixes from the uh, Super Mario 3D Land. Oh wow, not even Toad was able to run up <laughs> that thing. I was too busy paying attention to uh, the drops on anything over here. Uh, Alright, so you wanna be... Uh, okay, friggin' thank you. You wanna be paying attention to things such as that. Don't get hit, uh, you want the clocks. Because if not, you're gonna be uh, dead, pretty much. I, to be 100% honest, I do not remember where anything is in these levels. I do not remember where the collectibles are. So, I'm sorry if I miss many of them. Uh, there should be stuff below here, so I just made up for the life that I lost. Uh, I don't have the cat suit to make it over to the top of those. And that thing over there, I don't know if that's the first one or a second one. Okay, good. Thank you. I'm gonna need this. Drat, 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 I messed up, I messed up. There we go. First? Yes, first. Goodness gracious. Most of these levels will not have a stamp, though. That's something I can actually assure you of. So, there goes the first one. No, 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 Spiny. What the 
frig is going on? Okay, give me the mush. I need it. And many of these have been replaced with spiky, um... Spiky things. Spiky rat things? I don't even know what those things are called. Sorry, don't know the official name of something. Alright, let's keep moving, let's keep moving. Alright, we're good. Gotta come to the top. That's the second one. Uh, what is this thing? I forget. Alright. Alright, I'm gonna do this just to save up on time. Okay, there you go. Eliminate those two at the same time, get both of these clocks and start moving because that 20 second mark over there is scary as hell. Alright, let's move out, let's move out. We got everything we needed, everything we needed. Now, as I said, these are pretty much just remakes of the levels that we had in previous worlds. So, um, we're gonna be seeing a lot of familiar levels just in different types of layouts for the enemies and for the collectibles. And of course, for the golden flag balls, are gonna be a little bit of a different setup. I did not get this one. I will not come back and get it on this one, but this, these few stages do not have stamps. Um, the ones that are remakes do not have stamps at all, so don't worry about it. Uh, these will not be collecting stamps. We got 100% on this one. Opening up another couple of levels. Uh, I think you can recognize that one. And that one as well, the, the second one a bit unlocked is actually not from long ago. Um, I just edited that video yesterday, so... Spiky Mount Beanpole. This one, I, I don't think there's any specific one, so I'm gonna go with Peach. Um, now, I really want, like, you can actually skip that pretty easily and uh, it doesn't really matter because the, the thing is over here. Um, not the one that I wanted to climb. I want to climb this one over here because by the very top, there was nothing. The first collectible is not here. <laughs> Alright, that's an original level. Now, I'm gonna get confused quite a bit throughout many of these, um, because that's just the way that things go. And now we have a, an alternate version of the cat doll. Um, this I lucky cat doll, I think it's what it's called, uh, instead of just the regular cat doll. And it has pretty much the same feature as the um, original Tanuki suit had in Super Mario Bros. 3 and the special Tanuki suit in um, Super Mario 3D Land has, that you can actually turn into a statue. It is not a, um, a gray statue that will just make your enemies think that you're not there or whatever. It's an actual golden statue that makes reference to those Lucky Cat dolls over in Japan, because those are said to bring up fortune. So, yeah, that's a, that's a nice reference, I guess. Let me get that coin that I missed. And now we come up. No! Jesus, why did I keep ground pounding over there? So yeah, every time you ground pound you get coins, so that makes it way easy to uh, grab some lives. Now, as you can see, I already skipped the first start. No worries about that though, because we're gonna be coming back down in a little while, so I'm not really worried about skipping anything. We have to calm down anyways. Now, you are actually invincible when you have that ability. Oh god, activate it. So, you do not really have to worry about anything while you have it on. Give me that. Give me this. Give me this. Here's the fourth one. There you go. That's nice. Uh, nothing... There's absolutely nothing else in here, I think. Uh, geez, I want to... I want to ground pound onto this, but it won't let me. Alright, here we go. And now we gotta get climbing. Of course, that's where the last one would, uh, well, excuse me while I, excuse me, <laughs> excuse me while I take that, I guess. This is the last of the locks. We want to get that third star over here. There we go. Now get some coins. Now the way down is not really all that hard. Just do this. Oh god, I was worried that I had done it on a, on a freaking place. Yeah, there it is. There's the first one. So as I said, I'm not really worried about skipping stuff on the way up, uh, you can always get it on the way down. We've gotten everything that we needed for this level, so we're fine. Remember this? Well, it's now a little bit further apart, so you have to have the kitty cat suit in order to get to the top. 
the Lucky Kitty Cat suit. Uh, it's differenced by the fact that you actually have a collar with a different bell on it instead of, you know, just the cat suit. You're not a stray cat anymore, you have a collar now. And there it goes. So that's that level. Boop. That also should be familiar to you guys. Uh, that's one of the levels in World 1. And from this side we got one level in World 5? I think it's World 5. Let's see Black Cat Rosalina. Yeah. Um, so yeah, this level is back, except it's now nighttime, and instead of bees we have ghosts. Pretty much, that's what we're gonna be seeing here. Ah, uh, that's messy, that's messy, that's messy. Ah, crap, I'm dead. Goodbye, kitty cat suit Rosalina. Hello, regular Rosalina. And now, hello, kitty cat suit Rosalina. I forgot that you could actually climb while using this. Um, cat suit is one of the few suits that doesn't lose its properties to, um, to headgear. So, up here we go, kill that thing. Destroy the peepas, please. Uh, I'm gonna wait for another one of these logs. I wanna go through the entirety of the level in just one go, instead of, uh, you know, making all of the skips that I did before and then coming back again. Because that's just better, in my opinion. Okay, so time for you to leave. Then time for you to leave, and uh, anything on the top? Don't really remember. I don't think there's actually anything important over here at the top. This would be like the second section of the of the stage from the original one. But uh, yeah, this is not that's not the case with this one. So stop it right there. Stop right there. I do not want you here. Uh, okay. I'm gonna kill all the ghosts that I can. I'm gonna take my little while. I'm gonna take a little while to actually clear all of these um, out, like all the stages out. There's a. You can actually see that other green star over there, but um, want to check if there was nothing at the top. That over there, I don't know if you need a boomerang for it. I don't think so. It would be really stupid if you actually needed a boomerang for that. Hey peepus! Hey peepus! Hey peepus! You die! Hey peepa! You die! All right. Should be a lot coming out of this pretty soon. Yeah, I think there's invisible platforms over here. Yeah, here's one, here's two, here's three, here's four, and you get it. You can actually make it back if you're quick enough, so that's good. So we got two of them. This is the last section of the level, so you only traverse through the second half of the, of the level. Um, but of course you want to be careful here with these uh, big boos. Kill them all in just one go, but of course you do not want to go there just yet. You want that star first, and then you traverse through that. Um, there is an invisible path over here, it's not the regular mechanics, so of course you want to do this as well. And uh, Captain Toad doesn't do anything important in this one, he's just there with the coins. Just to signify that he's actually coming to this side of the, of the space with you. Because there will be another Captain Toad level a little bit later on. Uh, just not in the next world. We already had uh, a mystery house right now, so... Next world would be Captain Toad, it's just he's not gonna do it over there. It's not gonna be there. Alright, so yeah, we're getting things from World 1 and things from the other worlds over here, so hello! Shadowplay Alley, I'm gonna go with Luigi uh, right now. A little bit of a scaredy cat, and this is just a 100 second run. Give me a special one, do get a regular one. Uh, I'm gonna stick with a lucky one, uh, risking losing it, because this is actually not a remake of the actual level, it just uses the mechanic and the, the thumbnail from it. And now... Yeah, I messed up. Okay, so you can actually get that without the boomerang, the boomerang flower. Uh, I just messed it up, and now I'm gonna be pressed off for time. So it doesn't. Oh god, it doesn't really matter all that much. Just um, it does matter a little bit for time more than anything else. Okay, so you get this. This is especially, this is the special reason why you're gonna be pressed by time. All of these Goombas, man, all of these Goombas. Destroy them all because you actually need to do that in order to unlock the way out. 
Holy crap. Yes, uh, third start, third start. Jesus, 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 this is not good. I should have come this way first. And I don't have time, I don't have the time, I don't have the time, and okay. I'm gonna take the middle of that because as you can see I only have one second left. I messed it up too bad, I messed it up too bad over there, so I'm just gonna come back and get the golden flag for later. Um, <laughs> clear time 99. Jesus, someone cleared it with zero seconds left. I could have done that and risked it for the top of the flagpole, but I also messed the jump at the very end, so nope, thank you. Alright, we still have three levels to go in this world. We're doing very nicely, if I do say so right now. Uh, by <laughs> I want to risk jinxing myself. Um, we're doing very nicely. Let's go give Mario some stardom right now. Uh, but yeah, this is a very short world compared to the other world, uh, to the... Oh god to the rest of the worlds in the game. Like, probably not compared to World 1, maybe World 2, but it is a shorter world um, given, well, you know, it's made up of remakes and fast versions of levels, just like uh, Super Mario 3D Land had uh, some extra worlds with that. I think all of the uh, all of the levels in Super Mario 3D Land were actually like that. Uh, they also had a remade version of it. So, I'm not entirely sure if that's the case or not. Oh look, I didn't know you could actually touch that into non-existence. Like the bubble that the Goombas are carrying the items with. I did not know you could actually take that into oblivion. But anyways, uh, this time you actually want to come here, so that's why it's important that you know that it's there on the original level. Because in this remake version, that is there. Ah, drat, I lost a kitty cat suit. No! And a coin just glitched over to the top floor. Which is a little bit weird, but uh, yeah, instead of power-ups, you're gonna get these things. Uh, you don't really need to touch the, the screen for this little part, because you have these balls that you can actually uh, play the gongs with. And that has the same effect as the gongs, like, as the switches, rather, from the original level. Don't need that mushroom, so I'm not gonna wake those up. Now, however, you want this ball to come through here, you could also use a fire flower over there, but it's not really all that necessary. Of course, they're not gonna give you any more. Stop it! Yeah, that's everything you want in there. That's all that you want in there. Can I get my boomerang back? No. Not so. Get this, and now it's, it's unlocked! I don't think there's any more collectibles in here by clearing off all the enemies. I'm gonna go try to get rid of that hammer bro though. That did not get rid of the hammer bro though. And I got hit again. I'm gonna wait for the mushroom to come back, I do not want to risk a hit. So no, there is nothing else that you can get over here, just that. Let us go. Now back again, this time it's daytime outside, so we are getting the inverse. This is a little bit tricky. Especially because of the enemies here and because of that one coin that is below the actual, like, it's super close to kill zone. Alright, let's get going. Let's get the going. Now, this time around, I do believe you have to not drop into any of those. But, you know, oh god. Yeah, you, you have to get back in there. One gong, unlocks that. The other gong gives you a pathway in there. Um, I do believe that's the, the thing because there's clouds everywhere and you can just get to the end of the level through here, so let's get in. Yes, that's, that's the one. So here we go, here's all the collectibles. Now we're good to go. And let's do the skip. We're over here, let's do the skip. And this thing is moving, so... Just to make it a little bit harder on you to get the golden flagpole. There you go. You also get a 1-up for clearing the thing with the, with the head, just skip all of the hammer bros at the very end, and we're good! Mario clear. Done. Alright, so here we go. We only have two more levels to go, and that will be the end of World Mushroom. Go Mario! Alright, so I think we've had five levels so far, each with a different character. Yep, that's that's the case. And so uh, we're gonna start repeating over here. Gigantic CC quack. Um, for this one, I think Rosalina is gonna be our best option. I think. 
Or I, was there nothing behind me? I remember they did something a little bit jerkish like that. But no, apparently not. Okay, now be careful with these things. You can actually help yourself with the gamepad if you're using it as a controller. But you gotta be careful because these things will not stop blowing until uh, he sees you dead. Oh god, oh god, the power-ups. Now, I didn't really say this the last episode, but Octogoombas can only be killed through ground pounds. There's no other way to kill them, actually. Uh, you can die too. And let's go to the next one. Now, as you can see, there's something behind us. I'm gonna put the camera behind me and roll backwards. I mean, it's gonna be a little bit more of a technical commentary thing over in this episode, because I really want this, um... I really want this to go smoothly. Oh god, don't do that. But you're still gonna have my oh gods and oh Jesus uh, from time to time. So this is pretty much the reason why I wanted Rosalina instead of any other characters. Holy crap! Except for that, that's not a reason why I wanted her. Alright, so we're back. Destroyed the first bully. The second one's gonna be a little bit tougher because it's on this side. Oh my god. This is not good, this is not good, this is not good. Just... Just go down, please. Thank you, there you go. Destroy the second bully, there's some coins for you. It's not required that you kill all of the bullies, it's just, it's better off that way because you have a little bit more freedom to traverse stuff. Now, before you leave, remember to come grab the second green star over there. It's just, it may be hard to actually do this. Yep, I messed up. Gosh darn it. Wow, that was weird. Oh, alright, I did forget that this existed over here. Dread. Alright, so <laughs> you can actually kill all of these things very easily. And uh, as I said before you go, don't forget to come over here, pick this up. It's a little bit harder to do with the Mega Mush, but uh, oh god, yeah. But you can actually pull it off very easily. And it does finish when you touch this, so make sure that you actually grab that. Another Mega Mush, so that's gonna be pretty helpful for this because you do not want to get blown away by these things. You can actually kill them if your character is touching that. So, this is gonna be pretty helpful. Thank you. There you go. You actually need the Mega Mush to get the, the stars, so make sure you get that. And now that we're at the final part of the level, uh, there's another Mega Mush over here that will help you out a lot. You push these around, you do not... You do not get affected by the currents. Uh, it's gonna be pretty hard to get in just the Mega Mush. That's why you want Rosalina, because bully pushing is way easier with Rosalina uh, and her spin attack. So if you do not have a power up, it's better that you have Rosalina on. And now, did it. Okay, that was good. That was a good. That was a good one. Now make sure you do not get hit. Up, up, up. There you go, and we're good to go. Instead of the rolling log, you get the Octagoomba. Now wait for it to actually come back up. And... There you go. Didn't even have to spin jump for that one. We just got it on right! Yeah! Course clear. That's very good, that was very good. So, we're heading on to the last one, on the last level over here in World Mushroom. This is actually, I don't really think it's a boss, it's just a regular level. You do have to unlock it though, because it is the last one, the last level in the world, so... 240, so this is pretty much all the stars, all the way over to the end of the game, I think? And Broken Blue Bully Belt. This is gonna be a little bit tough, uh, I think I wanna go with Toad here. Because the rhythm at which these things are gonna be coming is a little bit different, even though some of these may not be just for speed, it's gonna be better if we have Toad, and uh, these things are gonna be popping up as well. Plus, we have the Tanuki suit to aid us in our jump, so it's not gonna be all that much of a problem, you know? Let's get up some points. Come on. Okay, now you know how it is. Now you know how it is. Here's the cycle. I messed up because I wanted to get rid of the dry bones, so it's those two, then this one, and we're good to go. Okay, more of these things. Barely made it. Okay, let me see. Where's the next one? All the way over at the back. You can see it over there. There's nothing else on the route over here. Uh, probably gonna be a warp again. Let me get that second Tanuki suit. 
Now, of course, these ones are gonna be... Oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god. I did not jump with my boost. I did not jump properly. Okay. We're gonna have to wait a little bit here. I could have made that jump, but I don't want to risk it. So I, I want to go with a cycle over here and over here. We're good. Remember, the last one was over here. Uh, this just unlocks a bunch of coins for you to wait. It's better off that you actually wait and go with the cycle. Then, oh god. Then just try to be fast and get there as fast as possible. Alright, checkpoint. Okay, we're good now. And they blocked off many of these things with uh, with regular old ground blocks. So the jumps are a little bit tighter, a little bit uh, harder to make. It's good, it's good though. We are good to go. We got that. They did get rid of the of the spinning thing on the bottom one, I think. Come on, come on, come on. Go. Hard, 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 hard. It was hard, that was hard. There's nothing in between that, so I'm gonna go ahead and use my replacement Tanuki suit. That, this would have been, um, I think I would not have made the jump, actually. Not even a tight jump, I would not have made it at all. The good thing is, they got rid of the bully section over here. The bad news is, it is all timed, so, uh, you'd better not screw it up. And we got it, top of the flagpole. There you go, so that's the end of World Mushroom. Did it in pretty much the same amount of time that I did World 1, um, which is basically a bit less than half an hour. So I think we're good. We had used the white leaf to get us through the board too hard. Can't find the stamp. There's no stamp. That's why you can't find the stamp. All right, so there you go. Uh, I don't know if you could actually notice. I'm gonna take a little bit of time. That is a world. That is a bridge to the next world. So and the next world is super huge. Uh, but these ones do not have a stamp on them. Any of these have a stamp label on them. So you do not have to worry about any stamp thing over here. There is no stamps in these levels. So, anyways, that is gonna be everything for this episode of Super Mario 3D World. We have completed World Mushroom, the first out of two special remake uh, worlds. So, next time, we will be climbing onto this bridge and crossing all the way to World Flower. I will see you guys then!